egotastic fun time. All right, gang, here we are with the Orville Interactive Fan Experience, Fan Project by Messy Desk. Now, this is uh, version uh, Alpha, version 6.1. Uh, they've been making changes every single day. I've been checking in every single day. And every single day, something cool that I never saw before uh, just all of, all of a sudden shows up, which is really great. Um, now, I will tell you there are some things that are uh, inactive right now that were active before. Like when we did our live stream, you know, we were replicating things and sitting in chairs and uh, stuff like that. Uh, shooting our weapons, picking up blasters things like that and shooting each other having a good time that's all uh inactive right now we can still explore uh but it's inactive because you know they're making changes and uh they're upgrading things and right now having those activated uh just wouldn't work with the upgrades that they're doing right now and it's always getting better every single day and as amazing as this game is it's only in alpha it's not even in beta yet um but i'm from what I hear, they are expecting to actually have that alpha version out for uh, all of us to join in on very, very soon, which I'm really excited about. We're all going to be coming in here, hanging out, but I'm going to give you a tour right now, okay? And we'll see uh, We'll see what's going on in the Orville Interactive Fan Experience. This is created by fans, for fans. It is not a licensed product, but really it doesn't matter because this looks great. And I will apologize right now, my computer sucks. <laughs> my computer sucks hard, so as good as this looks right now, it actually looks a lot better when you don't have a crappy computer like I do. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's, let's jump in, shall we? Oh, beautiful. And when you have your settings up higher, that little moment right there has so, mu so much cool lighting and uh, textures going on. Um, I have everything pretty much set to medium, a few things set to low. I actually kept my anti-alias up, though. That way all the panels and, and uh, look pretty good. And look at right here, something already brand new. We have Space Dock. We are at Earth Space Dock. That is so cool. The Orville is parked. And look, now we can actually see the, the outside of the hole. There's an access hatch right there. Uh, we are at Space Dock. We'll look around and we'll also keep looking outside the windows. And of course, I'm actually uh, playing as Bordis right now. Get a look at Bordis there. Looking pretty smooth, dude. Oh, get out of here, gardeners. Stupid apartment building. And with Bordis, I actually set him correctly. Uh, you know, I tried to get the body right as close as I could. Also, his uh, epaulets are correct. I set him as Lieutenant Commander. Here's a nice uh, picture on the wall, which I don't believe was there before. Here we are in the mess hall. Oh, wow. Let's get a, a better look at uh, Space Dock. And sorry again for the frame rate, you guys. I'm sorry. My computer's not great. But I'll quit apologizing. So as you go around the game, you'll see blasters, you know, interactive objects. The blasters are great. And they also have, like, the little hand cannons. Uh, the pistols because uh, we can actually run around and fight each other we'll have shootouts it's great wow look at that look at that it is absolutely gorgeous space dock jaloja you guys jaloja to each and every one of you and of course here is the bar this is where olix you know serves up the drinks this is right where ed and Talia were sitting uh, when she was trying to get up in his vittles, which she did because she's a krill and she's evil. And she knows the fastest way to a man's heart is through his penis. And this is also where uh, Gordon and John were talking in the episode uh, Lasting Impressions, where Gordon's like, oh man, that sucks. I should have known better. And John's like, yeah, you should have known better, dude. I feel you, even though I don't know what you're going through because... Um, I'm a hit with the ladies. Here's all the replicators or resynthesizers. Of course, they're not active right now, but usually you hit a button, any one of these buttons here, and it'll replicate different things like a jar of pickles, plants, uh, models of not only the original uh, 
uh, Wright Brothers airplane, but the actual Orville ship, spaceship. Here's the famous staircase from the. Oh wow! Look at just look at that. Look at the detail. Let's go up the stairs, you guys. Get up there, Bordis. Wee! That room is nothing but a, eventually every single door that you see on this ship will be an actual room that you can go into, explore. Here's the captain's ready room. So this is Ed's office, which we definitely want to explore. Look at that. Look at that. Money for nothing and the chicks for a free. It's free chicks, you guys, everywhere. And of course there's Kermit. Hey Kermit. Now everything on this desk is interactive. You can pick it up and do stuff with it, but of course, like I said, that is inactive at the moment. This is where Ed and Alara had that conversation where she's like, I can't do my job, I'm a scaredy cat of fire. And he's like, Why don't you talk to your parents? And we know how that went. That was in Firestorm. This right here is where in, in Old Wounds, that guy after the ship got pretty messed up in that uh, battle with the Krill in the pilot episode, uh, Ed and Kelly were uh, having a conversation there where Ed's like, okay, you should stay with us. Welcome aboard. That dude was working on, on the, the repairing you know, the outer hole and he kept making a lot of noise in the window here and they kept telling him to stop. I'm really hoping they have some random events eventually in this game. Where all of a sudden that dude will show up every once in a while. Whoa, jeez. I got a little Yoffit view of uh, Bordis right there. And here we are. Now it's great, uh, when we were doing multiplayer the other day, we had a bunch of people in here and we were all sitting at our correct stations. Uh, which we can't do at the moment, unfortunately. But yeah, um, I was Isaac at that point. I was uh, Isaac and I was sitting at my station. We had the captain, we had uh, helmsman, uh, we had some other people sitting in, in uh, we had the security right here. Um, I don't know if we had anyone right here, but also look at these, this is really cool. Now there's keyboard shortcuts to do this, but you can actually change the lighting. You can go to yellow alert, which is working right now. Go to yellow alert, go to red alert. You notice the music changes instantly as soon as you go to Red Alert. Get, you know, a little bit like, oh, better watch out, stuff's going on. You go to Emergency Lighting, which is what the Kalon like to go to when they uh, take over the ship. Now, this room isn't built yet, at least not where we can see it. Uh, but this is going to be the classroom, you know, where Mar uh, Marina Sirtis works. She is a teacher aboard the, the Orville, so that's where Marina will be working Oh, look at here. It's the conference room. What? I sounded like Oprah there for a second. You get a conference room, and you get a conference room. Look at their space dock, which is right out here, you guys. Wow, that's so amazing. So amazing. So I'm assuming we'll eventually... Oh, look down there. Okay, the planet is further away than it was yesterday. So there's Earth down there. We can't really see much of it, but if also if you if you look really close, the clouds, the weather systems, are actually live and they're they're animated, so they're actually you can see them moving, the clouds moving, stuff like that. It's really great. Uh, we were a lot closer to Earth yesterday when I when I logged in. Oh, but this is actually better. This is more realistic. So we're at space dock. Now this is new. This wasn't here the other day. This is a weapons locker. Let's see if it opens. What? It does! So you get you a pistol. Of course, you know, pistols aren't activated right now, but you'll be able to grab these things, you know, load up, and shoot your friends. And of course, what would any trip to the Orville be without checking out engineering? What? Look at it. Just look at it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful we got all these amazing panels look at that look how incredible that looks look at the shine of the reflection of the uh, ceiling there there is the quantum engine hear that womp 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 
absolutely beautiful. Incredible. Now you'll usually see Yafit working this station right here. That's where Yafit goes. That's where he gets jelly with it. Uh, you usually see Dan around here somewhere. Sometimes over there. Sometimes over there. And sometimes uh, Ensign Turco will walk in with some cupcakes. Gotta have them cupcakes, you guys. Activating tractor beam. Oh no! We're being pulled now, in! They haven't worked it out yet, but I'm sure it's coming. Like right now you hear the you know Orville music playing, but there's actually music playing. Here listen. There's some Lieutenant Dan music playing in the elevator, and eventually I'm sure the, the Orville music that you're listening to right now will go away when you go into the lift. And you'll be able to hear the the lift music, you know, the playlist. And now we're gonna go visit uh, the shuttle bay, which is right. Mm, where is the shuttle bay? It's not this way. Ah, the side entrance. And here is the shuttle bay. We got shuttle one. We got pod one right here. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Now, eventually, because I will tell you right now, one thing I know about the shuttle pod is that right here, there is supposed to be a replicator. At least there was in um, Old Wounds. But, of course, the shuttles have been updated since then. But I know in Old Wounds, right here, there, there was a, a, rep, a resynthesizer. So we'll see. We'll see if that eventually gets installed. And what's great... Look at this. I mean, I really love the way this this pod looks amazing. You can actually sit in every one of these chairs. Uh, but right now, like I said, sitting in chairs is deactivated. But hey, you know, we can crouch. We can crouch in, in here if we want. There you go. Look at room. There's room for 30 people. 30 people can fit in here if you just put your, if you mush your junk together. Wait a minute. What's over there? What is that over there? Let's experiment. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I want to go in there. Look at the reflections. <laughs> you can. Well, it's convertible. It looks like right now in the reflection. But hey, what you gonna do? Uh, it's a work in progress. It looks amazing, and it's only gonna get more betterer as time goes on. And look at—they got the P corner. P corner. Oh, 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 no. Bordis. Oh, no, no. Get up there, buddy. And then, uh, if you don't want to get up, I know you can go, whoa. You go to ragdoll mode. So we got the P corner. Any corner can be a P corner. As long as you pee in it. How many people can you have hanging out together on the ship? I, you know, I was hoping for like four or five or six or ten. And they said that you can actually have 100 people. You can, um, you know, either join a multiplayer party, which uh, we can actually do that right now. Multiplayer works right now. And you can have up to 100 people. Of course, I don't think there's 100 people that have access to this game yet. It's not available to everyone. There's only a select few, a handful of people... Ah, and here we are in Bordas's quarters. You know, sometimes you got to slip through the hole to get where you want to go, you guys. Look at that. Look at that picture of Mockless. This is where uh, Bordas and uh, Clyden have the sexual event all over each other. Look at here. This is, look at, it's exact. This is exactly right. Oh, and there's Mockless right there. Here's their couch. In their chair, their living room, the colors are perfect. This is where John, Bordis, and Gordon watched uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's where Bordis likes to hide his cigarettes. You guys. Then we got this the table that, uh, Gor that Bordis and Clyden totally jacked up when they were fighting each other uh, <laughs> during that episode, which is amazing. We got the replicator where you can replicate. I hope that at least... Uh, in a you know in an updated version of of the game, maybe in the beta, that Bordis and Clyden's resynthesizer is the only resynthesizer where you can uh, 
resynthesize 500 cigarettes. Oh, we know what this door means. This is a uh, environmental simulator. Not available as of yet, you guys. This is eSIM 3. Uh, but I do know it is planned that in the simulators, you will be able to uh, replicate, not replicate, uh, you know, uh, simulate some of the famous things that we've seen on the show. You'll be able to fight Justin the Ogre, maybe have a dance competition in a Mexican villa, do all kinds of great stuff. And this is going to be a very social um, event, or social game. It's going to be for hanging out sandbox. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to have, you know, big shootouts with everybody in the uh, shuttle bay or wherever on the ship. You can play hide and seek on the ship. Right now there are three decks, but uh, it's planned that they're going to have nine all together at, uh, um, when everything's all said and done. So there's going to be a lot more places from the ship for us to explore. There's going to be Kelly's room, uh, you know, Tala's office, everything. Here is Sick Bay. It's beautiful. We got Yafit. Claire's taking a look at Yafit's guts, which are none. Um, we can also go into her office. CMO office, Chief Medical Officer. Look at that. Look at that. This is exactly it. This is exactly it. It is spot on. And I do know there is one other room for us to... Yes, I found it. This is Isaac's laboratory, the science lab. And there is the Aronov device, you guys. What? You just lay down there. Uh, and go back in time or forward in time. This is where Isaac does the stuff that he does. This is in uh, The Road Not Taken where John had Isaac's head right there and he was trying to access uh, you know, the Kalon files so they could figure out what to do about the thing and this and that so they could get information about Isaac's work. The Orville Interactive Fan Experience by Messy Desk, a fan-made game that we'll all have access to. You know, JP, but how? How am I going to afford this incredible game. How am I going to download it and play it with everyone? I don't have a lot of money. Well, don't you worry about that. Do you have the internet? Do you have a computer? Because the Orville Interactive Fan Experience is a absolutely free to play experience for fans of the Orville. Both uh, old and new because I think we're going to be getting a lot more fans popping up into the uh, fandom to join us. Not only uh, for the reviews, for the watch parties, for uh, just the discussions of the show that we love, but also to hang out with and get to know each other aboard our favorite ship. And I'll see you guys very soon. And as always, I hope all your times are egotastic fun times. And you can let me know what you think so far. And if you are one of the lucky few who have early access to this game, let me know what you think. And let me know... Uh, you know, as beautiful as it is, it is a lot better when you have a better computer. I'm going to tell you that right now. Somebody get me a new computer, please. Please give me a new computer. I want it. Love you. Bye-bye. Ego Classic Fun Time. We're going to have a great time. Ego Classic Fun Time. Give me all your money. Give him all your money. You will find me funny. Just give me money. I love money. Give him all your money. Give me all your money! Give me all your money! Give me all your money!